EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the International Challenge. Always great to be in Troon, Scotland at the Royal Troon Golf Club, founded in 1878. Frank, it is a golf course, true links, that's bathed in history. Frank, if you needed a reminder as to just how difficult this 11th hole is, none other than Jack Nicklaus had his problems here. Yeah, he turned pro in 1962. He just won the US Open at Oakmont, and then he came to Troon, and on the 11th hole, he made a 10. That's right, double digits. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Frank, this one's not looking good. Yeah, certainly not down the fairway line, hitting toward the rough. You have to think he'll be happy with that, given that it looked like it was headed right for the rough. Yeah, it looked like that was the only place it was going to finish. But, um, well, <clears throat> it's a little bit unexplainable. Let's see what he does from here now. Lucky break. Frank, for players looking to improve their putting, what are some of the training methods they can use? I think speed is always a, is a good one when you get on the putting green and you just practice trying to putt inside that three-foot circle because in the end, all sports are the same. You're trying to focus in on the destination where that ball has to be delivered, whether it's tennis in, inside the court or basketball inside the rim. Putting's no, no different. As you get further and further away from the hole, then you just make an acceptable size circle that you're trying to putt within, so pace very important. Frank, how do you size up the 12th hole here at Royal Troon? Well, first look at 430 yards, you'd think it'd be a rather easy par four, but that's not really the issue. The issue is gorse right and left. Oh, that had some meat behind it. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. That is a beauty, a real beauty. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. A birdie will send him to one under on the leaderboard. Coverage continues at EA Sports. Let's go out now to our featured golfer at the 13th. Frank, how would you assess this first round performance from our featured golfer? I'd say commercial, solid, very professional. Um, if this is the worst round they score a week, it's not such a bad round. Now playing the second here at the par four. Frank, obviously, way too much club there. You, you've got to think something like that, or at least misread the wind. This is never going to sit down. Didn't check, Frank. 
Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Been this way all day. Airtight, no mistakes, solid shot. And yet another green in regulation. Clean this up with a tap. Frank, you can see by the reaction, it has been that kind of week. Just a few too many pars. On the tee here at 14, it's another par three, Frank. You don't get caught looking at the front of the green. That's where it's at, at its most narrow. Ideally, something that pitches just into the top of that mound. Oh, this is right at it. Good, clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. It's no snack, though. a very good workmanlike performance. Yet another birdie. Into the top 15 on the leaderboard. Don't forget, second round coverage coming your way tomorrow here on EA Sports for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now. Three shots off the lead. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the International Challenge. Well, this golf course goes back a long ways to 1878, in fact. We're at Royal Troon Golf Club in Scotland. Rich Loader alongside Frank Nabilo. And Frank, uh, where are some of the scoring opportunities out here? Well, normally when the uh, the Open Championships played, the breeze comes out of the uh, sort of northwest, which means those first few holes are played down breeze, and then the closing stretch is played into the breeze. So really, you sort of make your hay on the way out, and then you hang on for dear life on the way in. Um, that doesn't really change because you have some rather short par fours to start. Officials are calling that one around 310 yards. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Eagle attempt on the way. Just want to nestle this one down to within a couple of feet. Looks like he just misread that. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Comfortably inside the cut line, the young prodigy makes another birdie. On to the fifth hole now, Frank, and this is really where the old course starts to test the golfers. It's just over 200 yards. You happy with a par three here? You are. This is one of the toughest shots, certainly on the outward nine. Now, there's four bunkers of this par three. You don't really worry about the one that's short left, but the one just on the front right of the green is the biggest concern. You've either got to go around it or carry it. 
Frank, not just a player, but an artist. Just beautiful work right there. The only thing I can say, Rich, is that was Sevier-esque. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. What a birdie. Now just a handful of players in contention. Frank, it's all about the difficult rough off the right-hand side of the green here at the hole they call the slopes. Yeah, 600 plus yards par five, so really you don't want to be flirting with that right side. That's an absolute tracer right there. In the fairway, and well over 320 yards. Second shot. Stumbled out of the gates, but now on solid footing. Getting ready for this approach shot. Rich, I remember back in 1997 playing alongside Tiger Woods in the third round. You know what he shot that day? It was low. It was a great round, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the lowest round he's ever shot in the Open Championship. 64 to be precise. Uh, Justin Leonard went on to win the Open Championship that year. Standing over his birdie putt. In a very aggressive mode with that birdie now in second place. Frank, we're moving inland now, and what are we facing here at this par four seventh hole? Just a dog leg to the right, uh, ideally just a little cut off the tee. But this could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. Well, oh, this looks good. It certainly is. That ball's run out certainly over 300 yards, Frank. Call it about 310. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. No doubt they'll be happy with that shot. Well played. Getting set now over the putt. That birdie has to feel even better, Rich, with everything so tight at the top. Right in the middle of a Donnybrook at this point. Now the eighth hole, and if the wind permits, you can take some extra club, sort of get it up in the air and land it softly on the green. I guess the last thing you want is to come in hot and roll it off this postage stamp green. Well, you really don't want that ball going right either. Those two bunkers down the right side, are the, they're the deepest ones, and they must be avoided. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. So picking up a shot and shaking off that bad start. There you have it. The second round is complete. Another solid effort put together, and it shows on the scorecard. And after two rounds, you really start to see...